That right now, we can make up anything you want. Shirley! What? 30. Well, wait till you see the kitchen. <laughs> Get a clean spoon. Unraveling the mysteries behind Shirley Hemphill's passing goes beyond the surface of fame and laughter. While many remember her as the spirited Shirley Wilson from What's Happening, the details surrounding her death hold untold stories that remain veiled. In this exploration, we dive into the shadows of her final days, exposing what they never disclosed about the circumstances leading to her demise. In the wake of Shirley Hemphill's comedic brilliance in What's Happening, our exploration goes beyond the laughter to unravel the mysteries surrounding her passing. As we delve into the circumstances of Hemphill's death, we uncover the untold stories, shining a light on aspects they never told us. But the journey doesn't end there. We pivot to the post, what's happening? Lives of the cast emphasizing the controversies that marked their trajectories. From financial struggles to legal issues, each cast member faced a unique set of challenges, reshaping their lives in ways unforeseen. Controversies become the lens through which we examine the afterlife of the sitcom, providing a nuanced perspective on the personal and professional journeys that followed the show's conclusion. As we explore into the shadows of fame and the complexities that unfolded behind the scenes, rewriting the narrative of the cast's lives after the laughter faded, Fasten your seatbelt, folks. It's time to reveal the untold controversial chapters that shape the legacies of Shirley Hemphill and the cast of What's Happening. Shirley Hemphill, born on July 1, 1947, etched her name into television history through her unforgettable portrayal of Shirley Wilson in the iconic 1970s sitcom What's Happening. With a magnetic blend of humor and charisma, Hemphill brought the character to life, becoming a linchpin in the show's success. As the sassy waitress at Rob's Place, Shirley Wilson left an indelible mark on audiences with her sharp wit and distinctive laughter. Hemphill's comedic timing and genuine performance endeared her to viewers, turning Shirley Wilson into a beloved figure in the realm of classic television. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood lights, Hemphill faced a silent battle, one that unfolded quietly and left questions lingering. This journey ventures into the heart of her health struggles and the unspoken chapters of her post. What's happening? Life. Revealing a narrative that transcends the sitcom's laughter. Shirley Hemphill's health struggles were predominantly centered around kidney problems, which ultimately led to her undergoing dialysis treatment. The specifics of her kidney issues, including the exact nature of the ailment, haven't been extensively disclosed publicly. Dialysis is a medical procedure used to help manage kidney failure by artificially filtering the blood to remove waste and excess fluid when the kidneys can no longer perform this function adequately. Hemphill's need for dialysis indicates a severe impairment of her kidney function, a condition that often requires ongoing medical intervention. Living with kidney problems and undergoing regular dialysis is a challenging and demanding process that can significantly impact an individual's quality of life. It requires a commitment to a strict medical regimen, frequent medical appointments, and adjustments to daily life to accommodate the treatment. While the specific details of Hemphill's health struggles and the exact timeline of her dialysis treatment may not be extensively documented, her decision to undergo this procedure reflects the severity of her kidney-related health challenges and the efforts she undertook to manage them. Hemphill's quiet battle with health issues underscores the importance of recognizing the personal struggles that individuals may face behind the scenes, even those who bring joy to audiences through their on-screen performances. Shirley Hemphill, renowned for her memorable role as Shirley Wilson in the 1970s sitcom What's Happening, navigated a post-sitcom career marked by both dedication to her craft and formidable challenges. As the curtains closed on the beloved show, Hemphill faced the daunting task of carving out a new identity beyond the iconic character that had endeared her to audiences. Undeterred by the challenges that often accompany life after a successful sitcom, Hemphill remained committed to her comedic roots. She made appearances in various television shows and comedy specials, showcasing her unique brand of humor. However, the transition from a beloved sitcom character to diverse comedic roles proved to be a complex journey. One of the significant challenges Hemphill encountered was the industry's tendency to typecast actors based on their most recognizable roles. Her portrayal of Shirley Wilson had left an indelible mark, and breaking away from that image to explore a broader range of characters became a formidable task. Industry dynamics at the time often pigeonholed actors into specific roles, limiting the diversity of opportunities available to them. While Hemphill continued to be a respected figure in the comedy scene, achieving the same level of recognition as she had with What's Happening proved elusive. 
The industry's shifting dynamics and audience expectations created a landscape where securing roles that matched the visibility and success of Shirley Wilson became a considerable challenge. Throughout her post, What's Happening? Career, Hemphill demonstrated remarkable resilience. Despite the hurdles she faced in the industry, her commitment to making audiences laugh remained steadfast. Her determination to continue in comedy, even when faced with limited opportunities, underscores her passion for the craft. Beyond the professional sphere, Hemphill grappled with personal struggles, including health challenges. Her battle with kidney problems led to her undergoing dialysis treatment, managing health issues while navigating the demands of an unpredictable and often unforgiving industry added an extra layer of complexity to her post. What's happening? Years. While her post-sitcom career may not have garnered the same widespread attention as her time on What's Happening, her impact on the world of comedy endures. Her contributions to humor both during and after the sitcom left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Hemphill's legacy encompasses not only the laughter she brought to millions, but also the resilience she exhibited in the face of personal and professional challenges. Shirley Hemphill's journey beyond what's happening serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities actors face when transitioning from iconic roles. The challenges of typecasting, industry dynamics, and personal struggles shape this phase of her career. Despite these hurdles, her resilience and unwavering commitment to her craft leave an enduring legacy that goes beyond the sitcom's laughter. As we reflect on her post, what's happening? years, it becomes evident that Shirley Hemphill's impact on comedy is not confined to a specific era, but continues to resonate with audiences, showcasing the enduring power of her talent and determination. Now, let's explore the post, What's Happening? Lives of the main cast members, focusing on the most controversial aspects. Ernest Thomas's personal life has intersected with his professional journey in various ways, reflecting the complexities that many individuals in the public eye navigate. While specific details about his personal life may not be extensively documented, certain aspects have contributed to shaping his overall life journey. Ernest Thomas was born on March 26, 1949, in Gary, Indiana. Raised in a supportive family, his early life experiences likely played a role in shaping his values and aspirations. He ventured into acting at a young age, and his talent eventually led him to notable roles, including the iconic character Raj on What's Happening. After the conclusion of What's Happening, Thomas faced the challenge of transitioning from the well-known character of Raj to diverse projects. His personal drive and professional choices during this period likely reflected his aspirations for a multifaceted career. He explored entrepreneurial ventures outside of acting, indicating a broader engagement with business and personal interests. This intersection of personal and professional pursuits showcased a desire for diversity in his career path. Ernest Thomas has been known for his involvement in activism and community engagement. This reflects a personal commitment to social issues and a desire to use his platform for positive change. Such activities demonstrate how his personal values intersect with his professional influence. While he remained active in the entertainment industry, he faced challenges in securing high-profile roles comparable to his time as Raj. This aspect of his professional journey likely influenced his personal outlook and aspirations in the ever-evolving landscape of the entertainment world. He has generally maintained a private personal life, separate it from his public persona. This balance is a common approach for many celebrities who seek to preserve aspects of their personal lives while navigating the demands of a public career. Ernest Thomas's personal life continues to intersect with his professional legacy as he remains a recognizable figure in the entertainment industry. His ongoing legacy is shaped not only by his roles on screen, but also by the choices he makes in his personal and professional endeavors. Mabel King, born on December 25, 1932 in Charleston, South Carolina and raised in Harlem, New York, initially embarked on her career in gospel music before transitioning to acting in her mid-30s. In the late 1960s, she notably portrayed Maria in Porgy and Bess, and participated in the Broadway musical comedy titled Hello, Dolly. Her cinematic debut occurred in 1973 with a role in Don't Play Us Cheap, directed by Melvin Van Peebles, where she shared the screen with Esther Roll from the television show Good Times. 
In 1976, Mabel King secured the role of the mother in What's Happening, solidifying her status as one of America's beloved maternal figures at that time. Her diverse contributions to both stage and screen underscore her versatile talents and enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Beyond her acting career, Mabel King ventured into politics, aligning herself as a conservative Republican. She served as a speaker for the Blacks for Reagan rally and actively campaigned for the re-election of President Ronald Reagan in 1984. During the same period, Mabel King faced health challenges as she was diagnosed with diabetes. By 1986, November 9, 1999, complications from the condition led to the amputation of one of her toes, followed by the subsequent amputation of both legs and one arm. In 1989, she suffered a stroke, resulting in paralysis on her left side and rendering her speechless for nearly a year. Negotiating daily life became particularly challenging as she relied on a wheelchair, compounded by the difficulties associated with her physical size. Due to her ongoing health issues and the need for dialysis, she eventually transitioned to Kaiser Foundation Hospital. Tragically, on November 9, 1999, Mabel King succumbed to kidney failure at the age of 66. In accordance with her wishes, she was cremated and her ashes were entrusted to her attorney. The legacy of Mabel King endures, and she is remembered for her contributions to the entertainment industry and her resilience in the face of significant health challenge. Haywood Nelson, known for his role as Dwayne Nelson in What's Happening, faced financial difficulties post the show's conclusion. While he had experienced success during the sitcom's run, sustaining that level of financial stability proved challenging in the years that followed. Haywood Nelson's bankruptcy filing, which occurred in the mid-1990s, had a significant impact on various aspects of his life. The filing, a legal process that involves declaring an inability to meet financial obligations, offered insights into the financial challenges Nelson was facing during that period. The bankruptcy documents revealed that Nelson was dealing with substantial financial challenges, including unpaid taxes, credit card debt, and outstanding loans. The accumulation of these financial burdens likely resulted from a combination of factors, including fluctuations in his income and challenges in securing lucrative acting opportunities post What's Happening? The filing provided a detailed breakdown of Nelson's financial situation, presenting a comprehensive overview of his assets, liabilities, and income. This information was made publicly available as part of the legal process. Bankruptcy filings can impact an individual's credit score and financial reputation. While the immediate relief may be a resolution to outstanding debts, the long-term consequences may include challenges in securing loans, lines of credit, or favorable financial terms. The financial difficulties revealed in the bankruptcy filing reflected the broader challenges Nelson faced in maintaining a successful acting career post. What's happening? Sustaining the level of recognition and income achieved during the sitcom's run proved elusive, contributing to the financial strain he experienced. Despite the financial setbacks, Nelson continued to work in the entertainment industry. His resilience in the face of financial challenges demonstrated a commitment to his craft and a determination to overcome the hurdles associated with post-sitcom career transitions. The public disclosure of Nelson's financial struggles through the bankruptcy filing brought attention to his personal challenges. While bankruptcy is a legal process designed to provide relief and financial restructuring, the public nature of such filings can influence public perception and awareness. It's important to note that individuals may face financial hardships for various reasons, and a bankruptcy filing is often a strategic decision to address overwhelming debt. In Nelson's case, the impact on his life involved both personal and professional dimensions, showcasing the complexities that can arise in the aftermath of a successful television career. Danielle Spencer, who portrayed Dee Thomas in What's Happening, underwent a notable transition from acting to veterinary medicine. After her acting career, Spencer pursued a different path, ultimately finding fulfillment and success in the field of veterinary science. Spencer embarked on a journey of education and skill development in veterinary medicine. She attended Tuskegee University School of Veterinary Medicine, where she pursued her passion for animals and veterinary science. This educational endeavor represented a significant shift from the spotlight of the entertainment industry to the academic world. After completing her veterinary studies, Danielle Spencer became a successful veterinarian. Her expertise and dedication to animal care earned her recognition in the field. The transition showcased not only her adaptability, but also her commitment to making a positive impact in a different professional sphere. 
While Spencer shifted her primary focus to veterinary medicine, she didn't completely leave behind her entertainment roots. She occasionally participated in reunion projects related to what's happening and maintained connections to her past in the acting world. Danielle Spencer's transition to veterinary medicine also allowed her to advocate for animal welfare. Her position as a veterinarian provided her with a platform to raise awareness about responsible pet ownership, the humane treatment of animals, and the importance of veterinary care. Spencer's transition from acting to veterinary medicine garnered attention, and she was praised for her resilience and determination to pursue a meaningful second career. Her journey became an inspiration for those facing life-altering events and contemplating significant career changes. Danielle Spencer's life took a profound turn following a car accident in 1977 which left her partially paralyzed. This transformative event presented a series of challenges that shaped a new trajectory for her personal and professional journey. The car accident resulted in her facing partial paralysis. Coping with the physical challenges that arose from this life-altering event required considerable resilience and adjustment. Adapting to a changed physical state became an integral part of her journey. In the aftermath of the accident, Spencer took the opportunity to reassess her life and priorities. The challenges she faced prompted a deep introspection, leading to a shift in focus from her acting career to a new path, one that would ultimately lead her to veterinary medicine. Danielle Spencer's transition to veterinary medicine proved successful. Overcoming the challenges posed by her partial paralysis, she established herself as a respected veterinarian, contributing to the well-being of animals and becoming an advocate for responsible pet ownership. Her journey served as an inspiration for many, highlighting the resilience and courage required to navigate life's unexpected turns. Spencer's ability to overcome challenges and find fulfillment in a different career path resonated with those facing their own adversities. While her primary focus shifted to veterinary medicine, Spencer didn't completely sever ties with her past in the entertainment industry. She maintained connections with her acting roots, participating in reunion projects related to what's happening, showcasing her ability to balance two aspects of her life. Fred Berry, known for his role as rerun on What's Happening, faced significant financial troubles and struggled with health issues, including diabetes and marriages, divorces, and legal matters. Despite the success of What's Happening, Barry encountered financial difficulties after the show concluded. He faced challenges in managing his finances, leading to economic struggles in the years following the sitcom. Mismanagement of money, coupled with changes in the entertainment industry, contributed to his financial woes. In 1984, Fred Barry filed for bankruptcy, citing debts totaling over $100,000. The bankruptcy filing revealed a range of financial challenges, including unpaid taxes, mortgages, and outstanding bills. The filing shed light on the economic hardships he faced despite his earlier television success. Barry's also had marriage issues. His first marriage was to Francesca Price. The marriage was relatively short-lived, lasting from 1976 to 1977. Following his first marriage, Barry married Julie Erickson. They were married from 1978 to 1980, and his third marriage was to Carol Ann Ross, lasting from 1985 to 1988. Each of Barry's marriages ended in divorce. The reasons behind these divorces and the specific circumstances surrounding each separation are not extensively documented in publicly available sources. Fred Barry battled health issues, particularly diabetes, which significantly impacted his well-being. Diabetes is a chronic condition that requires consistent management, and Barry's struggle with the disease added complexities to his life. The interplay between health challenges and financial difficulties created a formidable burden for the actor. Fred Berry's financial troubles and health struggles serve as a cautionary tale about the financial uncertainties actors may face after the peak of their careers. His story highlights the importance of financial literacy and planning, especially for those in the entertainment industry subject to the ebbs and flows of fame and success. The challenges Barry faced contribute to the broader conversation about the well-being of actors and the need for support systems within the industry. In examining Fred Barry's financial troubles and struggles with diabetes, his story becomes a poignant reminder of the multifaceted challenges faced by individuals in the public eye. His legacy extends beyond the laughter he brought to audiences as rerun, serving as a reflection of the complexities inherent in navigating post-fame life. The enduring legacy of What's Happening and its cast extends far beyond the confines of the sitcom's original run. 
The show, which captured the essence of the 1970s and resonated with audiences through its relatable characters and humor, has left an indelible mark on television history. However, it is the diverse trajectories of the cast members that contribute to the lasting impact and relevance of the show's legacy. The challenges faced by Shirley Hemphill, Ernest Thomas, Haywood Nelson, and Danielle Spencer in their post, What's Happening? Careers reflect the complexities of the entertainment industry. From financial struggles to health challenges, these individuals demonstrated resilience, adaptability, and an unwavering commitment to pursuing their passions. While controversies were not prominently featured in their stories, the cast's ability to navigate the hurdles of typecasting, changing industry dynamics, and personal adversities stands out. Their journeys, both within and beyond the world of entertainment, serve as a source of inspiration for those facing similar challenges in their own lives. The enduring legacy lies not only in the nostalgic fondness viewers have for the sitcom, but in the lessons gleaned from the cast's diverse paths. The ability to reinvent, adapt, and contribute meaningfully beyond the realm of fame underscores the profound impact of these individuals. The cast members of What's Happening remind us that success is multifaceted, and resilience in the face of challenges defines a lasting legacy. As we reflect on the unique and varied journeys of Shirley Hemphill, Ernest Thomas, Haywood Nelson, and Danielle Spencer, the enduring legacy of What's Happening emerges as a testament to the human spirit's capacity for growth, adaptation, and contribution. The show's impact continues to reverberate through the lives of its cast, showcasing that the lessons learned on and off the screen are an integral part of the enduring legacy they leave behind. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.